Some drivers told Channel 9 that their cars caught fire and they blamed the electric seat warmers. Action 9 exposed this problem a year ago, and months later, Cadillac recalled more than 50,000 sedans. Now our Jason Stujanki says the company might need to recall even more cars and SUVs. He's live tonight in North Charlotte. Yeah, well, Erica, Cadillac recalled 53,000 vehicles. This is actually one of them. They were all CTS models, and they were all because of the seat heaters. But I recently spoke with three people who drive other Cadillacs, and they told their seat heaters caught fire too. My car is a 2013 Cadillac SRX. Delicia Douglas lives in North Charlotte. I had a uh, 2016 Cadillac ATSV. Victor Flores lives near Dallas, Texas. I have a 2013 Cadillac SRX. Mercedes Guevara also lives near Dallas. I was driving, actually just taking a ride to Target with my three daughters. Three daughters, 11, four, and a baby. And um, I smelled something burning. And I just kept smelling, you know, something was burning. And as soon as I was starting to pull over, fire and flames started pouring out from underneath the seat. Flores used to be a firefighter. Slammed the car in park. By the time that this all happened, um, there was actually flames going up and over my head. So I pulled over, got off the vehicle, and I looked down at my seat, and I saw that the seat was on fire. She says it burned this hole in her sweater. A lot of tears came out for sure. Me and my kids were very emotional. It was full of smoke in here and there was flames. So I just took my glove and kind of patted it. Mm -hmm. And then it so left actual that flames. So, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Coming out of the seat right here. Yep. I had barely just had any time to, to get out uh, before the car just fully engulfed in flames. Last September, Cadillac recalled 53,000 vehicles. 2014 to 16 CTS models because of the seat heaters, because of the risk of fire. But that recall didn't cover Douglas's, Guevara's, or Flores's vehicles. All three reported the fires to Cadillac. I'm not really looking to get anything out of this. I'm just wanting people to know that there's a potential issue with these cars. The company told me we take these reports seriously, safety is of the utmost importance, and we appreciate the opportunity to follow up with these customers to determine what might have happened. Jason Levine runs the Center for Auto Safety in Washington, D.C. The best way to move forward would be for Cadillac to inspect, make transparent, make, make clear what is going on for these consumers. He'd also like to see the federal safety agency, NHTSA, investigate. Levine told me all of that could lead to another recall. The drivers I spoke with hope so. I don't want this to happen to anyone else. Um, someone can get seriously hurt. Bigger recall? A much bigger recall, yes. It's a very big safety concern that I have, and I just don't want this to happen to anybody else. Now, no, Jason, we were talking earlier. You said if someone has a fire, of course, get to safety first, but they definitely need to make sure that they document everything. Yeah, that's right. If you really think you have a defect, make sure you tell Action 9, the car company, and NHTSA. Uh, it's very important that you report all of that. Also, I show you how to do all of that and check your vehicle for any recall on our website, WSOCTV.com. It's right there with my story. All right. Thank you, Jason.